Welcome back, friends. My name is Michael Fury, and you are watching me play Final Fantasy VIII, the remastered edition on PS4. So, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. You may know me from my Final Fantasy Tactics Ramza only run. Um, if you haven't seen that, please give it a watch. It is some of my proudest work and just a ton of fun to work through. Final Fantasy Tactics is hands down my favorite game of all time. Um, but I like anything Final Fantasy, and I thought I'd like to start producing more short-form content. The, the Rams only run was a lot of fun, but some of those videos get up to two hours or more, which... Unless you got half an evening to set aside to watch some videos, it's really not conducive to your enjoyment. So I want to produce something a little shorter that you can enjoy that still taps into that Final Fantasy lust that I know we all have. So today, what we are going to do is I'm going to show you how you can, in fact, win with the original starting seven cards uh, facing opponents with much stronger cards than these. If you know the, the way the AI is programmed and you've, you know how to select your cards effectively. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to challenge the kid who's running in a circle. He has the Minimog card and if we're lucky he will play the Minimog card and if he has to play first we stand a very strong chance of winning that card. But let's see. So first um, first things first, we need to pick our starting cards. I'm definitely going to start with Fastito Kallen, uh, Gesper, Red Bat, Fungwar. Now I'm torn between the Gizard and the Cadditch Pillar. I think I'm going to go with the Cadditch Pillar because he's got all around good stats. Generally speaking, you don't want all around good stats or all around decent stats for all your cards because the strategy is going to hinge upon attacking and showing weakness so that you can attack your own card after your own card is won. Um, but I'm going to save the Cadish Pillar for later and in that situation we're going to want some all around decent stats. Now unfortunately no um, Minimog played, but very fortunately he has to go first. And another good thing of fortune is on each of his left numbers, the highest number he's got is a 5, which will play into my Festido Callan's hands later when I play him in the bottom left corner or bottom middle possibly uh, and block to the right with a 5. But for right now, first order of business is we need to win his card. Now the way he's programmed is his Cactuar was his first card and he's programmed if he's got no chance of flipping over one of my cards his default is he'll play his first card or the highest card in the top left or the top middle the top right left middle 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 right bottom left bottom middle and then finally bottom right in that order. So no, no other plays for him open. He's going to just plop that Cactuar down. Even if he had a 6-6 six, six in a corner or a 7-7 seven, seven in a corner, he's going to default and play it in a stupid, frankly, position where I can overtake him and then I'll have a 6 showing to the bottom and it's undefeatable. Now what I want to do is I want to overtake him, but I want to show two weaknesses so that I got a one and a one showing. Now, it would be a slightly better situation if his weak spot was below so that I could put that five down here and then I have the one and the one and then I could play the Fastito Talon here and overtake. That, that would have been the ideal scenario, um, but luck was not with us today in that respect. So now, we do have a choice. We got two ones showing, um, and ideally we want to show weakness, but I want to save that Festido Callan for later. So I think if I play this there, he's going to take his bite bug there, which is not ideal. this here he 
he would overtake me with his Grindle. I think I want to go over here. And he would overtake me with his Grindle in the middle. Which would be... Okay. At a minimum, we're going to get a draw. No! Okay, okay, okay. So, he's programmed the first card first, not... Okay, well that's that's fine. Uh, because we can get a double win. And so now, as long as I overtake one of his cards, which I've got a six showing at the top, definitely gonna do that. I've won. So with just a little bit of luck, a little bit of strategy, you can win early with those basic starter cards. Now, I want to keep going because I want to see if he's going to play his mini mob, and I'm going to I'm going to start with, I'm going to keep playing with my starting cards. I'm not going to put that cactuar in. So I want to show you exactly how possible it is to not only survive but to thrive with playing. So we lucked out. He played his his he drew his uh, uh, was a, a gel eye. He drew his Jelly, which has a 7 on the left. That could have been very detrimental to my strategy. Um, but he drew it first. So we're going to play that there. He's going to overtake with his Ghoul. Now, we've got a choice. Uh, if I overtake here, he's going to double overtake, but that's okay because he's showing weakness. And I can fortify with my Festive Talent in the bottom left. Now he's weak, and I am strong. And, but we're gonna draw. I probably could have played that better, but no harm done. So we're gonna go a little bit faster now. Gesper. I have a feeling I might want to trade out that Gesper, actually. He's been the one... He's been a little bit weak. So I think I'm gonna do the Gizard to have an attack on the left. Nice, and we're gonna win. Awesome. I am so glad I traded out for that Gizard because he's the only one who can attack. And there it is. Now we still gotta play it out, we still gotta play it out. Um, I think... If I play this, uh, he will use his Glacial Eye on the bottom. If I play it here, he'll use, use the Glacial Eye on the right middle. I feel like this is the play. And then I'll do a double take. Talon. And then we've won. Isn't that a thing of beauty? So not only is it possible to win, it's possible to win well against very hard cards, such as the Mini Mog, with the original starting seven. So if you liked this video, please give it a like. Um, do check out my Final Fantasy Tactics content. I'll be uh, trying to produce some more short form Final Fantasy content in the future. Um, but yeah, give it a like, give it a sub subscribe. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye now.